drive a modern transit vehicle with skill, to be courteous to other drivers on the road, to be considerate and polite to one's passengers, are the marks of the truly professional bus driver. The bus must be handled in a fluid, easy way, with no jerky movements. When making turns, the hand-over-hand -hand method is the best technique. This method of steering, with the slide release for coming out of turns, provides the optimum control over the vehicle. When approaching a turn, indicate your intentions well in advance. Look in your mirror and turn the bus using the hand-over-hand -hand method. As you drive, be aware of what is happening around you. Anticipate what other drivers might do and be constantly checking your mirrors. Because of the size of the steering wheel, the hands should be placed in the 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock positions, with the thumbs on top of the wheel and not wrapped around it. Too many bus drivers have had to be taken to the hospital in the middle of a shift with a broken thumb or wrist. Sometimes when turning right at an intersection, you'll find your way blocked by a parked car. Make sure that you pull out wide enough for your back wheels to clear the car. In this case, the left-hand side of the parked vehicle is your imaginary curb lane. Lane changes should be handled with care. Check the appropriate mirror. Signal at least 100 feet or 30 meters before making the change, and then when free to do so, change lanes smoothly. When you approach a red light, slow down, and if you're going to turn, signal well in advance. The left turn in front of oncoming traffic requires caution. Only proceed when you can do so in complete safety. A bus is much longer than a car and does not have the same kind of acceleration. The button hook turn will enable you to make a right turn and protect the right side of your bus against other cars or trucks. It will ensure that as you make the turn, your back wheels will miss the curb, and it will ensure that your wheels will be parallel to the curb if you have to pull into a transit zone. Position the front of the bus a yard or a meter from the curb, and when your right front wheel is in line with the curb, turn to the full right-hand lock position. When the right wheel is about a foot or 30 centimeters from the curb, straighten out and the bus will pull in parallel to the sidewalk. Generally, transit zones are planned in such a way as to allow easy access by transit drivers. Under ideal circumstances, there should be no reason for not making a perfect stop. With the bus parallel to the curb and at a suitable distance from it, passengers can get on board and alight from the bus easily. The mid-block stop is difficult. You should try to pull in parallel to the curb to allow easy entrance and exit for the passengers and so that the back end of the bus is not exposed to following traffic. Try to stop at least 10 feet or 3 meters from the car in front. Then you'll be able to pull out of the zone without using full lock and avoid crossing into the oncoming traffic lane. As you pull out into the traffic, check your mirror and ease out smoothly. If the near side transit zone is blocked by vehicles, your stopping distance is shortened by the approaching intersection. You must approach the zone slowly. Check your right rear view mirror, and when your rear wheels are in line with the front of the parked vehicle, turn hard right into the stop, leaving about a yard or meter between the back of the bus and the parked vehicle. When your front tire is about a foot or 30 centimeters from the curb, straighten out and pull into the stop. Your back wheels are the hinge. That's where the bus bends. 
Once they are in line with the front of a parked car, you can turn as sharply as you want and you'll never hit it. Even though transit zones are clearly marked, sometimes motorists park in them. When this happens, don't try to edge your way in and leave the back end of the bus exposed. Park parallel to the car in the zone and caution your passengers to be careful as they step up or down. You should not open your rear doors until you've warned passengers to look for a driver in the parked vehicle who might pull out unexpectedly. You gotta get to, well, how, how come? What's happening here? You're parked I mean, right here in the transit zone, sir. Yeah, but listen. <laughs> I was just inside the building for, what, 30 seconds? It doesn't matter, sir. The, the sign says transit zone. It doesn't say unless you're going in for 30 seconds. Yeah, but see, I had a, I had a buddy in there. He was expect I had to drop something off. And uh, if I didn't drop it off, like, we're in big trouble. It was just, Have a nice day, sir. Yeah. It's, would you like... Hey, look, I mean, duh, you want to talk to... Oh. The air brakes on modern transit buses are extremely efficient. To stop on a dry road, the driver need only apply pressure smoothly to the brake. Stopping on a wet road should be handled with greater care. Apply the brakes with an easy feathering motion so that you'll avoid any locking or skidding. Following another car in traffic, be constantly aware of your stopping distance. Allow at least a second for every 10 feet or 3 meters of your vehicle length, and never allow less than 2 seconds between yourself and the car in front. Count the time using handy reference points like shadow areas or road signs. Remember that this rule of thumb only applies in ideal driving circumstances. Non-professional drivers often drive as though they're the only people on the road. Don't force your way into intersections. In heavy traffic, ease into the middle of the intersection on the green light and pull through it only when your way is clear. The professional transit operator will check with the dispatcher before going out on the road to acquaint himself or herself of any construction or other hazard on the route. When pulling out past barricades, beware of motorists who may try to force their way by you. Construction zones create dangerous situations of limited visibility. Use your mirrors all the time. Drive through the zones constantly on the lookout. Other motorists may have poor visibility too. Be careful and courteous. There is a correct way of turning, of pulling into transit zones, and of stopping. Do it right every time.